Now we are going to see about water pollution. Water is a precious resource and without it life is not possible on earth. Over two thirds of earth's surface is covered by water. Less than a third is taken up by land. As earth's population continues to grow, people are putting ever increasing pressure on the planet's water resources. In a sense, our oceans, rivers and other inland waters are being squeezed by human activities, not so they take up less room, but so their quality is reduced. Poorer water quality means water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies. For example, lakes, rivers, oceans, aquifers and groundwater vary often by human activities. It occurs when pollutants, that is particles, chemicals or substances that make water contaminated are discharged directly or indirectly into water bodies without enough treatment to get rid of harmful compounds. If you pour a cup of black ink into a river, the ink would quickly disappear into the river's much larger volume of clean water. The ink would still be there in the river, but in such a low concentration that you would not be able to see it. At such low levels, the chemicals in the ink probably would not present any real problem. However, if you poured gallons of ink into a river every few seconds through a pipe, the river would quickly turn black. The chemicals in the ink could very quickly have an effect on the quality of the water. This in turn could affect the health of all the plants, animals and humans whose lives depend on the river. Any change or modification in the physical, chemical and biological properties of water that will have a detrimental consequence on living is water pollution. There are many types of water pollution because water comes from many sources. Here are a few types of water pollution. Nutrient pollution. Some wastewater, fertilizers and sewage contain high levels of nutrients. If they end up in water bodies, they encourage algae and weed growth in the water. This will make the water undrinkable and even clog filters. Too much algae will also use up all the oxygen in the water and other water organisms in the water will die out of oxygen starvation. Surface water pollution. Surface water includes natural water found on the Earth's surface like rivers, lakes, lagoons and oceans. Hazardous substances coming into contact with this surface water Dissolving or mixing physically with the water can be called surface water pollution. Groundwater pollution. A great deal of water is held in underground rock structures known as aquifers which we cannot see and seldom think about. Water stored underground in aquifers is known as groundwater. When humans apply pesticides and chemicals to soils, they are washed deep into the pollution underground. Point source pollution. If pollution comes from a single location, such as a discharge pipe attached to a factory, it is known as point source pollution. For example, point source solution include an oil spill from a tanker, a discharge from a smoke stuck 
from factory chimney or someone pouring oil from their car down a drain. Non-point source pollution. A great deal of water pollution happens not from one single source but from many different scattered sources. This is called non-point source pollution. Non-point source pollution is often accumulate the effect of small amounts of contaminants gathered from a large area. The leaching out of nitrogen compounds from agricultural land which has been fertilized is a typical example. Oxygen depleting. Water bodies have microorganisms. These include aerobic and anaerobic organisms. When too much biodegradable matter, things that easily decay end up in water, it encourages more microorganisms growth and they use up more oxygen in the water. If oxygen is depleted, aerobic organisms die and anaerobic organisms grow more to produce harmful toxins such as ammonia and sulfides. Microbiological Pollution In many communities in the world, people drink untreated water straight from a river or stream. Sometimes there is natural pollution caused by microorganisms like viruses, bacteria and protozoa. This natural pollution can cause fishes and other water life to die. They can also cause serious illness to humans who drink from such waters. Suspended matter. Some pollutants, that is substances, particles and chemicals, do not easily dissolve in water. This kind of material is called particulate matter. Some suspended pollutants later settle under the water body. This can harm and even kill aquatic life that live at the floor of water bodies. Chemical water pollution. Many industries and farmers work with chemicals that end up in water. This is common with point source pollution. These include chemicals that are used to control weeds, insects and pests. Metals and solvents from industries can pollute water bodies. These are poisonous to many forms of aquatic life and may slow their development, make them infertile and kill them. Causes of Water Pollution the principal resources of water pollution resulting from exploration and production operations are domestic waste, dumping of household waste into water, sewage. Sewage contains all kinds of other chemicals from the pharmaceutical drugs people take to the paper, plastic and other waste they flush down their toilets. Solid waste. Solid waste causes blockage in flow of water. It causes water as well as air pollution or polythene is the main solid waste. Industrial waste. Industrial waste containing paper waste, rubber, metallic, aluminium waste, etc. is drawn directly into water which pollutes water. Acid rain. Acid rain or acid deposition is a broad term that includes any form of precipitation which acidic components such as sulfuric or nitric acid that fall to the ground from the atmosphere in wet or dry forms. This can include rain, snow, fog, hail or even dust that is acidic. Oil pollution. Petroleum pollution occurs when oil from roads and parking lots is carried in surface runoff into water bodies. Accidental oil spills are also a source of oil pollution 
as in the devastating spills from the tanker. Oil slicks eventually moved toward shore, harming aquatic life and damaging recreation areas. Aquatic Plants Water hyacinth, an aquatic plant, causes pollution in water. It is a long-lived plant which grows faster in water bodies and absorbs which is fetal for marine organisms. It is also known as terror of Bengal due to its abundance. Thermal pollution A major source of heat is the practice of discharging cooling water from power plants into rivers. Discharged water may be as much as 15 degrees Celsius, that is 27 degree Fahrenheit, warmer than the naturally occurring water. Thank you.